It looks like it may have been stolen. Oh, hi. Ooh. Ew, she's she's thick. <laughs> what the? Who got diarrhea? Oh, thank you. That's all I got. Is that going to hit the power lines? Don't fall off your bucket. Give us all the vegetable soup. Oh, I okay. felt some yank, so yeah. Get off the hood. Monkey stomp on it. Oh my lord in heaven. Oh my what god. What is that? Buzz the tower. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, there goes his head. Okay. Mamma's old hip. You're gonna be doing the dishes. 24 volt, give you everything. <laughs> Your crocs touch that pedal. Give me a hammer. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's an eagle. Look at that. Wow. Rocky Jr. is trying to kill me over here. Grand, oh. Grand. Tell him bye. <laughs> Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. We're back with the 78 Fairmont wagon that we got out of the junkyard that had 4,000 cars in it. Now, they were crushing them as fast as they could and selling some of them. And we were lucky enough to get in there. And I think we got five, right? Yeah. I believe we got five cars out of there. So this is one, this is the last car we got out of there before they basically crushed everything that was in there. This thing, it's a very early Fairmont wagon. So these are on the Fox body platform, just like the Mustang. Clear marker lights up front, let you know it's a 78. This was actually produced in the 10th month of 1977. So this is a really early production Fairmont station wagon. It's got the inline six in it, six in a row. Ready to tow. Exactly. One really cool thing is this used to be like a home repair service vehicle. So if you look down here, it still says home repair down the side. And we can't read every bit of it, but there's a phone number on the quarter panel and somebody's name up here. So when we do the cleanup on this thing, Maybe we can figure out what company name it was. Really neat, black car, tan interior. We still gotta do a cleanup on it. It looks like it may have been stolen, possibly, because the whole steering column's busted out of it. So that's a hurdle we're gonna have to get past. Looks like somebody's converter to a mechanical choke here. That's pretty cool. And I mean, you always wanna buy a car that came with a window air conditioner in the back. Look, we got all kinds of figurines. I mean, we got Mary in here and everything. A hitch. Exactly. Dude. So we're gonna try to get this thing running in this video. Ralphie's kind of dying to get it running. Yeah. Has a trailer hitch on the back bumper. Me and him are really excited about that. Look at that, clean roof, no roof rack, no rusted out holes like we usually get. Hopefully we can get this thing running. It's got an automatic transmission. Uh, let's get under the hood and I'll show you. So we were just glad that we were able to save this thing. Look, it comes with the red caution label prop rod here. Oh, Look at that, gosh. isn't that funny? We've been spraying it down with PB Blaster for the last few weeks. Trying to get the carb loosened up. There's our mechanical choke. I love that. So we have absolutely no parts for this thing. So we're going to try to get it running for the least amount of money possible. Usually we buy all this stuff ahead of time, but I thought, you know, can we get one running without buying a bunch of stuff? You know, let's try it. Somebody stole the radiator out of it, but good news is they left their 9 16th wrench down here. So oh, <laughs> I showed them, didn't I? But let's give this a little quick coat of PB Blaster again and tear into this engine. How big a shot you got on it this time? I don't know. We're hitting this with like Pretty. a 150 shot? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, PB Blaster uh, works miracles. Man, look at all the work they put in that. Somebody's made spacers with nuts. Brackets, all Yeah, that. they put some work into that, you know? But hopefully this engine isn't stuck. Uh, it's been in a junk car. We don't know exactly how long. We haven't looked at the car, but I mean, all those other cars have been sitting there like 30 years, 25, 30 years. So it's been quite a while. Maybe I can look through the glove box and figure out how long it's been sitting. I'm just spraying. There you go. Look, you can see here where it was hand painted. So really neat that it has hand painted lettering on it. Uh, I'm just hoping we can figure out exactly what it says at some point. I like the back hoops on it. They're like, yeah. you know. Not a stitch of paperwork in here. We really don't know, but it sat with the windows down. Somebody rolled all the windows down and just left it. So we rolled them back up for them. You want to go get our tow rig? We'll, yeah. we'll pull this thing up to the shop. What is your dog doing? No man, no man. She likes the Fairmont, huh? <laughs> she likes the rubber butt on the license plate. Don't worry, Ralphie's drink got it. Follow me.
have, I don't hate this one. It's because the lettering probably. Is that you, it? You probably like I the lettering. I think I like it. It's black. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Uh, Miller? What's that? And? Miller and. C R O N A. Miller and Cronin. Cronin, maybe. Cronin. Home repairs. Miller and Cronin home repairs, I think. Huh. Another scooter. He comes out from somewhere. Who knows if he rode the whole way? Yeah, who knows where he came from. But look, it's got an STP oil filter. It's not too rusty. Thank you. You won. I'm going to go ahead and label all the plug wires so we don't get anything mixed up. Are you not just going to pop them off real quick? No, we did that with the M... Or you did that with the MG. Oh, hi. Which one? This way. Oh, it's really hot. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. You here to help? Oh, look at that. Licks the baby blaster bottle. <laughs> just a little taste. He just needs a little taste. Ew, very oily. I'm very sorry. oily. Ew. Yeah, grab it by the boot, not the, not the wire. Yeah, figure that out. Did you now? Oh, Lord. What? You gotta crank these down. I didn't crank them down. Somebody did yeah, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. I rusted down. There you go. How much faith do you have that this is going to run? A lot. Well, is it stuck? We don't know. We'll get, stuck. We'll get the plugs out and get some marble in it and Come we'll on. see if it's stuck. That just moved. What? The hood thing just moved. We trusting that? Sick. Yeah, it's fine. I've never had a prop rod family that was wooden. Oh, little tiny hands can you get this. And dishwater hands? Oh, it's like slippery from PB Blaster. Let me get it. No, I'm getting it very slowly. Yay. Very oily. Very, very oily. Yeah, but inside there it's not bad. Yeah. Like it's just a little sooty looking. But still. Where's our dipstick? Right here. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Ooh. She thick. Very, it's not even dripping off of there. <laughs> it's so thick. Oh, it's That's so disgusting. Thick. Well, it's got... It's right at the bottom of the operating range, so we're probably safe to at least crank it over. Oh, Lord, why are these so hard? Well, you're pushing in instead of down for one thing. Is our carburetor going to be free? Hey, there you go. Hey. Look at that. Looks a little rusty down there. So our choke flap is free. Our throttle blades are free. I should be able to just take the top off of it and clean the bowl out, I think. This is like the worst one yet. Yeah. So hard. Oh, I see it. I can't believe how shiny the lid is on the master cylinder. Yeah. Wow. Well, maybe it was new whenever it was parked. It's stuck. It's so stuck. I can't even get the lid off. You need to oh. Oh. Ah! Look at that. It still, has it still has brake fluid in it. I haven't even pushed the brake pedal. Maybe we have brake. Is this the first one that's been sitting this long that has any fluid left? Fluid left? I think it, it might be like the second. Let me push the pedal and see what it feels like. And look at that, Ralphie. What the yeah, angle finder. It's a, it's a level and a little ruler there. Look. I bet there might be a snake up in there. But they got quick flat fix. All right, let's see. Now, that's as hard as rock. I wonder if I push really hard. <laughs> Doesn't sound good, did it? Come on. Can I take the cap off? Here. Well, yeah, it's doing stuff here. Yes. It's, like, it's not going down in here. Whoa. What the? What was so crunchy? Keep on doing that. I gotta pick it back up to do it. Yeah, it's doing yeah, some work. Yeah, you're bubbling. Really? You're bubbling now. It's rust. <laughs> you, you like pooped up diarrhea in here. Yeah. Pooped up. Taco Bell. Woo. It was so crunchy. What about the throttle? Oh, oh she yeah. worked. Whoa. Got two pedals That's amazing all in itself, really. Ah, my arm's sore. Oh, my elbow. What did I do to this? <laughs> <laughs>
Poor Papa. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> yeah, I still couldn't get it. Ow, that did something. That hurt. So this should be the 200 inline six, which is based off the same engine that like my old 63 Falcon has. I mean, these engines have been around forever. Really dependable little guys. You usually don't have too many problems out of them. Look how oily that is. Snap it. Ah, woo! Look at you go. Nice distance. What does Marvel do? Mysteries. Exactly. I wish somebody would have stole the radiator out of this thing. Uh, language? It's a radiator. Oh, it's a radiator. Oh, God. Depends on where you live. Well, it's completely bone dry on power steering fluid. I don't want to burn anything up unnecessarily. Guess I'll put some fluid in that. Let's see about our uh, transmission here. It's got fluid in it. It's showing. Now it may end up being low once the thing starts and runs, but it does have fluid on the stick. And I just noticed someone stole the starter off this. Oh, 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 oh man. What a bummer. Shoot. Well, looks like I need a starter now. Great. Where does this go? That's the air inlet, like the yeah, breather was on here. Where does it go? Uh, no man knows, son. No man knows. Well, this kind of knocks it in the head of not spending any money on this thing, <laughs> but we got to get a starter. What are you going to do? $75. What? What? Okay. Well, this starter doesn't fit this car. Guess I got the wrong starter. Wonderful. 78 Ford Fairmont. It's got the inline six 200 starter, yes. Mm -hmm. Got my random starter I picked up out of the floor of the shop as a core <laughs> back. <laughs> I was like, can I have it back? I need that core. Oh my gosh. So what I ended up doing on my phone on the O'Reilly's website, I had like an 82 Fairmont in there. I was like, oh, I'll just use that. You know, it's the same car. Well, an 82 and a 78 have the starter in a different location, so. Of course they do. I don't know how that happened. So we ended up having to order one from AutoZone because O'Reilly's, it was going to be like five days. So AutoZone's supposed to have it tomorrow. So let's get back home, try to get this engine freed up, and take that carburetor apart. Ralphie wants to try to turn it over first. It's had a few hours here to sit. Get on there straight now. Oh, oh man, I hope it turns over. That was, gave up quick, son. Came up real quick. Wawa, your turn. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. Go for it, Wawa. Don't bust your knuckles, your broke knuckles. Broke finger. This may be a bad idea. Yeah, Told you that was hard. It's, 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 it's really, it's uh, really well, let me see. It's really stuck. Oh, I hope it comes loose. Why are they? Why do we have so many things that are stuck right here? Golly. Here. Ready? Wait, let go. You ready? Let's take the belts off. Wait, ho hold it from the bottom. You ready? Yeah. All uh, oh, my weight. <sighs> We've had trouble before where an alternator or something's locked up and it stops everything. Could be the air compressor. All right, let's take the belt off, yeah. Uh, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping that it wasn't stuck, but you know, it might be one of the accessories stuck. So has Dad left y'all in charge to get this off? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. Shush. You said there's one over there. We're just going to try to take this belt off. And the generator stuff. Can we get the prize bar or prize it over there? What are you talking about? I think he's talking about the Dad adjuster. Can... The adjuster thing. You can Dad, loosen that up and Dad, move it over. Dad broke this one loose is what he said. Ow. Ow. Okay, got him. You can give him off the other things? I'll try. It's like stuck. Oh. Hey, that's loose. That's good. Hey. I'll take care of the Again, here that's we not are. The, that's not the lucky one. Hey, Hold it's it. still a crowbar, though. Mom came through with a crowbar. They're crunchy belts. Yeah, they're crunchy. Ugh. They're stuck on me. Come on, get off. 
Here. Here, Watch out. Watch out. Hammer time. I already got it, dude. Calm down. I was going hammer time. Oh, we should just cut these jokers off. Yeah, that's probably the best option. Okay. We're not going to use them anyways. Will this thing turn? I don't know. Good job. Okay. So that's water this pump's free. 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 Compressor is free. It's kind of clunky. Well, it's kind of free. Alternator is very stiff, but it's free. So none of that was our issue. Let's get the power steering belt off. I'm, I'm afraid that this is not our issue here. Oh my gosh. Oh. What is in that? It's just a little rusty like me. That wasn't locked up either. Now were the belts stuck? Yes, they were right? stuck. That, stuck like okay. rusted up. It took us forever to get them uncrusted okay. out of there. That, that may have had something to do with it there. Yeah, they're all rusted in there, aren't they? We'll save these. Save them? Yeah, we're going to reuse those if this oh thing my runs. God. Dad. <sighs> It's majorly stuck. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything. Here. Hold the bottom so it don't make sure it's off the truck. Hold on. Here, put it up a little. I, there's only here or here. Why? Because it's a hex. What? It's a hex. There's, you can't just put it anywhere you want it. That's not gonna do anything. <sighs> My legs are just off the ground. <laughs> Is that gonna do it? Yeah. Need some PB blaster on top of the marble. Oh, sniping. Okay. I'll try the opposite way. It might just loosen the crank bolt. <clears throat> I think it just loosened the crank bolt. Yeah. I, did. I didn't see the crank move, did you? I wasn't looking. Do oh. it again. Yeah, it's the bolt loosening. Mm. Shoot. I think it needs more marble. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ah. Wow. Yeah, I just that whole thing. Look, it's literally full of this. Out of the throttle, ready? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get this water pump pulley out of our way so we can get a straight shot on this crank. Ralphie. It's just the crank bolt turning. Yeah. Yeah, can you try to keep the bottom in there where it's supposed to be? That's all I got. Wow. A pop. Onto that. On pop? that, yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> He's been waiting for me to say that. That's apparently. almost as good as 24 volts. Oh, yeah. Minute. Uh, he's apparently been waiting on me to say that. Get the job done. Okay. Thank you, Ralphie. Oh, well. Is that going to hit the power lines? No. Will it fit over this? Look. Here. <laughs> this is. Oh just, my gosh. I can't oh, even. Oh, oh, oh. I can't even see the other in the shot. Oh my gosh! It's it's like ten feet long. Yeah. That's how it get. Don't fall off your bucket. Uh, can you go any farther? Hard. I don't want to break it, and I'm falling. Okay, you want me to try it? Yeah. Ow. Slipped off, isn't it? Yep. Ah. Uh, I think it's going to round out again. <clears throat> yeah, it just rounded off, I think. It's, it's slipping off. It's just rounding the head off that bolt. I mean, we could weld something to it. Oh, yeah. Not much to lose, huh? Well, one advantage to having someone stole a starter off this is I can get to the flex plate. So I think I'm going to get my lucky pry bar in there and try to turn this over by the flex plate teeth real quick. <clears throat> It just slipped off, didn't it? Yeah, it didn't turn, did it? I, I don't, I don't 
think it did. I think it just slipped off. You got the XL model, the going to the buffet night model. Oh. That was like getting punched in the jaw. Oh, it hurt. What? Yeah, it just hit me in the face when it came loose. That did not do anything. Did it break a tooth off? No, it didn't break a tooth. It just slipped off of it because I had a ton of pressure on it. Yeah, it's not doing anything either. Shoot. So what I'm thinking is, if this car isn't easy to move, I think I'll weld a bar to this in the shop and then bring it back out here and bolt it up if I can do it. Same bar we got the Galaxy engine free with. See if it works again. We'll see what this does. I don't know what else to do. All right, Wawa, hold it right there and I'll get under there and see if I can line the bolts back up. I, I'm gonna give this all the vegetable soup. Onions, veggies, other veggies. Man. I'm just gonna leg and arm. Popeye over there. <laughs> Yeah, eat some spinach. <laughs> We're gonna start out with Ralphie and see if Ralphie powers enough, and we'll go up from there. Ready? Go for it. Oh, I'm moving it. You're moving the whole engine. All right, let's switch. Oh, is is it stuck worse than the Galaxy wagon? Oh wow! All right, push up, please. This is really Don't blow your L4 out. Oh. Oh. All right, old broke finger wall wall here. Hey, Wait. It, it, it turned. It turned. You got it. You actually get Oh you my actually, gosh, yeah, you're, you're hitting the water pump now, but you hey. actually got it. Look, Paul, let's get a close up on I the crank. I loosened it up. Oh, oh that's that's what happened? Yeah. It up. And I okay. felt some yanks so, out yeah. here. All right, look, look, look at this. You ready? Look at that. How is it that you can get a pry bar with a huge pole on it and it doesn't do it, but this, this seems to always work. Look at that. Well, let's yeah. take this bar back. Good job, Wawa. Wawa did it. Good With job. a broke finger. Ooh. Yeah, broke finger. <laughs> Man, this is a lucky bar, huh? We gotta keep it around. This bar, look, you can still see pieces of the harmonic balancer off the other galaxy wagon. The magic bar. I'm just sad that I've never got to push on the bar. Oh! And it's never made it to me. Like, I've never got to be the hero with the bar. Ooh, that bolt is... Ooh, it's in bad shape. Can we not even turn it anymore? Let me get a hammer. Found a hammer. That bolt's in rough shape now. It slipped, but it did move. Yeah. It's just rounding out. We hurt it too bad trying to break it loose. Can I take it out and replace it? What the curse? You moved it just a little bit. Yeah, barely. I'm gonna pull this condenser out of the way so we can maybe take this crank bolt out and replace it with one that we can actually turn. Oh, gosh. No way, is that tight? This thing will break anything loose. Wow. Rocky, get off the hood. Of course. The going to be mad at you. You better get down. He's coming back. I'll be happy with you. You're not coming to me. I'm not getting you. Get down. Get. Get down. Get, no, I'm not. I'm not catching you. Get down. Now that Rocky's quit working on it, I got a different socket here, a different brand. I'm going to see if it... Oh, that's a no-go. Okay, well, we're going to have to get that bolt out, I guess. How is that that tight? You put the monkey stomp on it. What? The what? Monkey stomp. There you go. got it. There you go. Okay. There you go. 
So there. <laughs> Ooh, y'all did her up good. Um, yeah, we did the round Ronnie on it, didn't we? Not the round Ronnie. Maybe round Rhonda. Rhonda. Go wash them Rondas. Look how much it bowed that washer in. That's crazy. So I got a new crank bolt from a certain red box top very much. <laughs> We're gonna throw this thing back together now. We gotta be careful with this one, don't we? It's still tight. It needs like a shorter pipe than what we had. It's still tight. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's not moving. Yeah. It's still tight. There we go. Yeah. Come on, keep moving. <sighs> Here. What the heck? It's not moving any farther, is it? No. I don't want to snap another bolt off. It's still tightening. See, it goes that way, doesn't it? It's, it's pushing stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's pushing stuff out of the cylinder? Yeah. Here. I think it looks good. Anything come out of the cylinder? Stops. It, it just hits a hard spot there. What the heck? Wow. I don't know if we can get this thing back on there and try to turn it farther. But the water pump's still going to be right in our way, isn't it? Well, it looks like we're going to pull the water pump, which means having to pull all the AC and alternator brackets off this side. We may not have anything left of this thing by the time we get it to turn over. I guess everything's stuck. I think I've got all the bolts out. The AC bracket, it's still, hey. oh, there it goes. Who's holding it? As a little bit younger, man, I've just cut these AC lines and not unscrewed them, but I'd like to kind of save them. You just need to get it off this thing. There you go. Golly, it's heavy. Um, oh Lord, it's, it comes with the alternator too. Yeah, it's all together. <laughs> This guy's like 80 pounds. Oh my lord in heaven. Uh, wow. Hey, it's a racing car now. I'll take that stuff hey, off there. I'm liking it more and more. Exactly. I'm pull off this thing. Yeah, okay, I think this wire pump only has three bolts. Right now we need a gasket we don't have. But there's a little water pump impeller. Hmm. Uh, there's our spot we can't get past. Is there anything coming out of the cylinders? No. We're getting past it. Here. Let me go back and then we'll go over it. Oh, good idea. I wonder what's wrong. Yeah, right, pull it your way. I don't know what it is. Ah! Bait off the ground. Hello. Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay, gosh. Oh. God, why is it so stuck? Pull it your way, Walla. Oh, it's, why is it stuck now? This what? way. It's stuck. Okay. It gets stuck right in the middle. Right here. Needs some work. It's a good workout. Yeah. I think it's got some rusted up stuff on it. Let's see if we can take this loose and then move it to a different spot and rotate again. Why don't we go to that side and... Oh, I thought it was exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uncharted territory here. Anything come out of the cylinders yet? Nope. Yeah. Oh, it did, Just that one. Now. Watch out, buddy. Just now here, on that third one. Whoop! Oh my gosh, look at all that Why fruit. is it that third one only? It's because that's the only one we come out. Oh. It's on its time to fire. I think this thing's going to spin finally. It's still super tight though. Do you want me to do it for a no, time or two? No, it's fine. I've been crossfitting lately. Oh, I can't remember this. All right, broke finger, here we go. It's just like a seesaw. Yeah. <laughs> and one, and two, and three. All right, Richard. I feel like a pony when I sweat. <laughs> Spot. That's 
It's not too bad over here. We might have it freed up now. Oh my gosh. It's a little tight right there. I think we made it all the way around now. Oh, oh maybe, maybe we had one all the way around. Gosh. <laughs> Man, that's, I can't turn it now. Whoa. Oh my what god! What is that? I don't know. Whoa. Oh my What god. is that? Was that a low flying chopper? What was what? that? I think it was like a it was like massive. Hey, it was like a moth. He buzzed the tower. Okay. <gasps> Murder hornet? I felt the rotor a wash off thing. that. Whew. We don't know about anything else, but at least it looks like it's going to spin over. Well, I don't think we have any more daylight to take the car apart tonight. Our star is supposed to be here tomorrow evening, so I guess tomorrow morning we'll come out here, take this car apart, clean the plugs, and wait for the star to get here. Are you are you drinking my Gatorade? Is he drinking it on the lid? Yeah. Oh, oh, he just picked up the whole cup. He's trying to get that lid off. He knows that's the lid. He can get that lid off. He's already loosened it up. It's leaking out. He likes Gatorade. You like that, buddy? Is that good? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, okay. As if he needed to be more spoiled. He was thirsty. Rocky, you want cheese puff? Huh? <laughs> you took him to a baseball oh. game, he'd eat everything they had, huh? Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. High five. Success! We got to turn over at least. Yeah! Woo! 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 My shoes cost more than your hat. He's no, talking about Ric Flair. What? The one he said my shoes cost more yeah. than your hat? I'm having a hard time holding these gators down. Oh. All right, it's the next day. We're going to pull the top off this carburetor while we're waiting on the starter. Hopefully, we don't have to buy anything for the carburetor because we already had to buy a starter I wasn't expecting to have to do. You know, at least this thing's free. Well, let's get inside and see what it looks like. Right, Wawa? Yeah, right. I'm going to clean some of this junk off the top before we break it loose so we don't drop junk down in it. This is when they started getting too complicated. All these too many vacuum lines by this point. It's pretty gummy, and that carb cleaner didn't take that off like I thought it would. I thought it would just, like, disintegrate a lot of that black stuff, but it really didn't. That's our heat riser tube here for a choke. Which apparently is no longer in service. Oh, yeah, it's not even hooked up. Delete that. And we don't have a gasket kit, so. Am I, did I miss a screw or something? Probably like everything else on this motor. Stuck, yeah, like everything else. Maybe I can, oh, oh, there you go. Broke the seal right there. Ooh. Is the gasket good? So, this little linkage here has got some pressure on it. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Sometimes with these linkage, it's hard to figure out what order you're supposed to take them off. And turn this this way. Come on. Come on, get off there. You little booger. I can see that the bowl vent is completely blocked with, I guess, what's like a dirt diver's nest. Look. All that came off it. Oh my gosh, look down the bowl. Wow. It is so nasty down in there. It's hard. Look. It's hard, whatever it is. So let's get the floats out of here and see what's down the bottom of that bowl. Our uh, floats are like stuck in this goo, just stuck down. But we need to get the uh, needle and seat out. Hey, it's not stuck. Usually the needle and seat's stuck. It works. And look at this, it's... It's, it's hard, like usually it's not as hard as this. Looks like somebody dumped a shovel full of gravel down in this thing. Yeah, she would have never ran like that, would she? No. Oh, there's a bug, look. I think we got a spider in our carburetor. Some sort of bug, flying insect, looks like. Well, it is so nasty. I think we're just gonna pull the whole carb and hopefully we don't tear up the base gasket. So we're gonna turn this thing upside down, spray it out good and do a better job at it. 
think we're in luck because I think it's not stuck down. It feels completely free. Look at that little one barrel. We might as well just turn this thing upside down and dump it, huh? Yeah, it's very disgusting in there. Okay. Oh, you hear it hit the table? Oh, we already got check ball and stuff fell out. That's good. It's always good to have those fall out and have no idea where they came from. It makes it a lot more interesting. Look at all that junk. This literally feels like, just like dirt. It just feels like it's hard. It's so weird. We're going to have to change our table here. Look at that. Looks like we're changing our diaper. I'll try to get the jet out of this thing. I swear I think a dirt dauber has climbed down through the vent and built a nest down here because it looked like that was a dirt dauber's body. And then the vent tube was full of one of their nests and this felt like dirt. So I seriously think it may have been a little family of daubers living in this thing. I can't think of a better place to live than inside a carburetor. Now our accelerator pump is still intact, but it is very hard, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. Let's see where our mixture screw's at. Half a turn, one, two and a half, three. Wow, three and a quarter, that is uh, aggressive. So you always wanna go through and spray through basically every orifice you can find, especially like your main jet, passageways, stuff like that. A big old chunk of stuff just came out of here. So we got all our passages cleaned out. We got our little parts and pieces. So I'm gonna put this thing back together and hopefully that's good enough for, you know, who it's for. Usually Ralphie's helping me clean carburetors, but he's preoccupied with a project <laughs> over there. I stole it off another bike, so I'm trying to get it off. I don't like purple. <laughs> it's a future project on the channel. So I'm gonna set my idle mixture screw at probably like two turns out. Usually it's about a turn and a half. I don't know why this one's so far out, if it's something I don't know about, but I'm gonna try it like two. Look, we got a bug stuck in the arm of this thing. I'll try to pull him out of there. Oh, there goes his head. I put some oil on the accelerator pump diaphragm. So hopefully that helps something maybe. I think we got it all back lined up. Uh, let's stick it back on. We lost the float pin, so. I can barely see it down here. Let's see if I can get it. There you are, you little booger. Oh my gosh. Panic. Is that it? Is yeah, that that's that's, that's it. That's it. What Thank you. It? You're welcome. We dropped it rolled off there. I was about to put the floats back in and it rolled off. Figuring out the numbers. Yeah. We sprayed through the needle and seat here, so it should be good to go. Do you think the fuel pump's gonna work, Ralph? Probably not. That's what I'm thinking too. I don't know what this stuff is, like grease or something. What are you doing, Scooty? Huh? You been good? Are you any good at carburetor, Scooty? I can't believe the way he has started coming in the shop. It was like, as soon as we got a car with a mouse in it in the shop, he's just in the shop now. He's just a shop pup. He's a good helper. Ralphie got this cleaned up. It's a D8BEAAA. For all you number people. I like how this one has a carry handle. Oh, that's funny. It's about time for him to walk through my tray of sockets. <laughs> yep. Again. Again. What's going on? I need to get up there. Okay. I can't find good help nowhere. <laughs> Rocky, you're not helping. He's thirsty again today. He's parched. You baby him. 100% good boy. It's like soaking the beard. He don't care. Can you roll me in the yard? <coughs> Here, let me turn it. This is gonna be terrible. Okay. Enough. I'm just going to put some vacuum caps on these because the lines coming out of here are all broke. I'd rather have uh, it plugged off than have a vacuum leak. Well, 
Well, I guess that's really all we can do on the engine side until we get a starter here. I need to get the ignition switch working because somebody's busted the ignition switch out of it, just like the uh, other fair, black fair one I got from this junkyard. So we're probably going to take the column apart where I can work that switch manually and uh, hopefully we won't have to wire anything in. Okay, so we'll get the vines out of the way here. And as you can tell, it's been busted completely out. Don't know if it's been stolen or not. Possibility, though. But I believe if we get this off here, it has a slide in there that makes these contacts. And I think if we get this off, I tried turning it by this the other day and that doesn't work. I think I'm gonna have to grind these rivets out and take this off the column in order to work it. Yeah, we should be able to slide that right there. And that work hard. Right there should be start. See how it works right here? This guy slides back and forth with the key how that works you know, i came to the realization a minute ago that this is the first time we have actually done physical work to the car that's on our t-shirts we brought some home and bought some but this is the first time we've actually worked on the car that's on our t-shirt actually it's a black fairmont wagon on my shirt too that's pretty cool but he's like i want in the house i've been licking the glass and y'all didn't let me in yet i guarantee you'd be on the couch if you let him in Okay, hopefully this one's right. Uh, we have no starter to go off of, so I'm hoping that's correct. The transmission appears to have three bolt holes, and this only has two tabs, so I'm already worried. I think it's gonna fit. What? Awesome. Is it? Hold on. We gotta get some bolts. I don't know that that fits or not. It's close. Okay. What is this witchcraft? I don't know. Let's see if we can get some bolts in it. How many spark plugs have you cleaned in your life? I don't know. So our ground cable was junk, so I'm gonna replace it with one that Mr. Curtis sent us in the fan mail. We hadn't had to buy any uh, battery cables in a while, have we? Curtis hooked us up. He really did. I'm gonna try to turn this over because that starter felt really tight going there. I wanna make sure my converter bolts aren't hitting the starter so. Ooh, okay. Those boxes get as brittle as Mamaw's old hip. <laughs> sitting out in the sun not that her hip was sit out in the sun but i mean the box you know with the hood open all right well, maybe we're good with the starter this will be the first time it's had electricity in probably 30 years so hopefully nothing catches fire that would be good something's something's drawing a little bit of voltage because it's clicking when i turn it on well i guess let me try to spin it over with our stolen car steering column Nothing. The light is coming on for the alternator light. I bet our star is still bad. I hear something ticking when you do that. Okay. I think our solenoid's bad. I think I got a new solenoid though. They usually go bad. Last one we have in stock. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to buy some more. Can't have enough old style Ford starter solenoids. Yeah, that's yours now. Thank you. Try it again. Okay. Is it like the ground? Different problem. Okay. Maybe it's this connection right here. Maybe we. I'm look looking a little ratty. Hideous, huh? That'll fix it. I'll just cut the whole end off that and re-split it back. You think that's gonna fix it or no? Maybe. Is that brand new cylinder hung up? Oh yeah, she's still. She's still going. Raring to go. Watch out. It's a brand new cylinder yeah, though. Say, give it a tap. Give it a tap. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's super high quality there. <laughs> huh. Dog brand new cylinder hung up. Let's give it a tap. Well, we have a starter and it spins the motor over. Ralphie, I guess it's time to put some plugs in. You got oh. them all clean, don't you? Yeah. I need some gas and some spark plugs. Any times. Will it thread in? You little bugger. Oh, there we go. No? Yeah. No? Okay. 
Okay, you'll get the last two. That's loosening it. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all two get confused on that a lot. Is it gonna run? Yes. Yes. It, I, I can't believe it didn't blow any more fluid out. I guess we pushed it all out, rotating it by hand. I figured it'd blow a bunch of fluid on I, Ralphie. I, well, I've never seen nothing come out this one or this one. Well, it one. could be a big hole in the piston that's... You're loosening it again, buddy. No, I'm not. Yeah. That's loosened? <laughs> I'm gonna fill up the carburetor bolt here. You gotta tighten them one minute. <laughs> I'm pretty sure oh, it's not. You're just doing it at the very you end. You don't want to break it in there. You'll break you it down. You can't. Uh, yeah. Ruin the do I do it really. like a snug or what? Just snug. Just snug. Snug with those dishwater hands. That <laughs> means <laughs> loose. <laughs> you about to have some dishwater hands. What you about to have? You going to be doing the dishes. Four, five. Where's six? Down there. What? This goes on this one? That's, yes. that's four. We hadn't even popped the distributor cab off this, so hopefully it still has a rotor and the ignition pickup and all that stuff. Did you check his? You gotta go back and check his. Yeah, you gotta check him twice. Okay, let's Wait. try this. I have the ignition switch on on the dash. That don't sound like it's getting any fire, does it? No. Let's see if it has fire. It shocked me. I saw it. It shocked me. It scared me to death. So we have fire. Well, you know what we need. 24 volt gives you everything. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was going to say. Maybe it just needs more fuel. Hey, get rid of the gas. That's what's so wrong with it. I got no gas in it. We put some gas down. Let's try this again. Uh, let me try it without choke. That uh, cylinder just wants to keep going, don't it? Throw some more gas in it. I heard it sound more throaty. I think, I think you're right. More Pull gas? Volts. She's thirsty. <laughs> Golly, why does it keep hanging up? Well, of course it doesn't just fire off. Of course. Well, <laughs> The fuel pump looks new, I'm just saying. Well, it's not pumping any fuel, I'll tell you that. No, no, I just Because it's like unhooked from the car, but it's not doing anything. We had fire, so I don't expect to see anything went wrong in there. Yeah, that's pretty corroded. Look right there. I corroded that contact as well. Maybe we should stand on that. Will you get the sandpaper you had, buddy? The core sandpaper? Yeah, everything's pretty corroded in there, but I don't know if that would really stop it from running, though. I can see the stuff flaking up on that. Yeah, it's really thick. Maybe it's only getting fire on certain cylinders, you know? All right, let's try that. I don't know what that sound was. Not either. It's yeah. Hey, your gas. Gas pouring wow. everywhere. Starter hung up. You're going to fight me, aren't you? Maybe it's flooded. Huh, you're ready. Hmm. Well, if you fill a bunch of air, it should be on compression. I think it was. Well, it should go. Psh. Does it not have any compression? We need to check for compression. Cause it ain't blowing on my finger at all when I put my finger in. I was just gonna check the timing real quick and it's not got any compression. Let me get a compression tester. You better slow down willy nilly. So this front plug looks like it's got no fuel whatsoever, completely dry, nothing. So our second plug, the gap is totally taken up with oil and junk that we probably put in the engine. So that's not gonna fire at all. Ready, let's see. Nine, zero, zero. Did not the whole time that's it was on what zero. I knew. Oh great, something's maybe hurt now. Number two. Zero the whole time. Really? That so the first two are stayed pegged on zero. Ready? Yeah. 
No compression. Nothing. On any cylinder? Well, it's never going to run. Is that a full revolution? Well, this was spinning? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so our timing chain or How gear... fast is it supposed to? What? Oh, it's if it's spinning, it's fine. Okay. And it could have jumped time, but... What if they all have zero? That'll be terrible. <laughs> Nothing. Wow. What has happened? We're just not having any luck today, are we? I swear I didn't drive this if car. If they all have <laughs> your... Did your Crocs touch that pedal? The Crocs ain't touched the pedal. Promise. Right, 100 PSI on one cylinder. Wow. So that's where it ought to be. Damn I was me. thinking that your tool or something was messed up. No, it's... I know, obviously now. I see it's not. What if they're all... Well... Except that one is on zero. All right, see the last one. <laughs> it has something, something on it. Yeah. yeah. What does yeah. it have? I got like 110. Okay. So the back two cylinders are fine and the other four dead. That's never going to run on two. Now, is this like they just need to get loosened up and build compression? Or this is like they're not... Well, I mean, there's a lot of things that could stop you from having compression. Like rings and stuff could knock your compression down. Sure, but if you have bad rings and stuff, you're still going to have something. Like a hole in the top of the piston is zero compression. Valves that are hang, hung wide open, that's zero compression. That would be my top guess is like a valve not up against the seat, you know, it's just sitting there open. Maybe those valves were so rusty that they're not sealing off. If the valves are open at the wrong times, but then I would think like if it jumped time, then you'd think every cylinder would not have compression. But this is the first engine we've ever had that had no compression on that many cylinders. Yeah. We've had like one cylinder down. Yeah, and then the one that we had that was down, didn't it come back? Yeah, it came back after, after, after we ran it. But it's never gonna start on two cylinders. I think what we have to do though is pull a valve cover now and see if our valves are opening and shutting. See if that tells us anything. Yeah, just oil up everything that we're going to have to take off to pull a cylinder head, basically, if we have to go that far. I didn't expect it to have no it's compression so on four cylinders. Four different cylinders are down. I mean, come on, you're our, you're the back of our t-shirt, and you won't even run for us. We're about out of PB Blaster again, aren't we? I mean, that's just the gamble that you take when you drag something out of a junkyard. You not get to talk to the owner. You know, he, he probably knew there's something right. wrong with the engine, but... Right, you buy we something out of a junkyard, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know what you're getting. And usually they're in a junkyard for a reason. Oh. Well, good morning. It's another day. We let it soak overnight. Ralphie's cold. <laughs> but we're going to finish this thing up today one way or the other. So why don't you blow all the nuts and junk out of there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite in the morning. Get pelted with garlic first thing. Yeah. It hurt? Yeah. You see your little face. <laughs> so you got dirt on already? Just a okay, well, let's pull this valve cover off. I'm just gonna cut this smog pipe off here instead of trying to unbolt it. We're gonna have this thing down to the darn bare block. Right, Try to get running. This one's underneath the vacuum line. What the heck? Look stuff we're taking off. I think we got... I think we got everything off there. Of course. It's stuck. stuck. Too. Imagine that, it's stuck. We're gonna, have to, deja vu. we're gonna have to pry it off there. Give me a hammer. You don't need a hammer. <laughs> You're gonna save for the hammer. There you go. Oh, oh, Lord, wow. that's very oh, rusty. Lord. Look at it. Oh, gosh. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Wow. That is so terrible. Wonder. No wonder it wouldn't start. Golly bomb. Why did it rust that bad? It had the uh, PCV valve in it still, so it shouldn't have got rain in. The hood was on the car. That's awful. No wonder it was so stuck. What is that? Is that wow. like dried it's dried up early or something? I, think, uh, I don't think oil oh, rust, does it? No, crazy. but I just had to have water in it. That's incredible. It, it looks like everything else is scaly, and this isn't. It's like all that scaliness has fell down on the rockers, all this sludge. <laughs> well, the back ones aren't that rusted. That's why we have compression on the back, too. Yep. Yeah. Because all these valves are stuck, probably. We'll turn it over, but I bet all four of these front cylinders, the valves are stuck. Man. Crazy. Look at this. 
Oh, it just falls apart. Yeah. But as soon as you touch it, oh my gosh, look at this. But as soon as you touch it, it just turns to powder. What is it? Like dried up? Oh. It, it's a sludge off that valve cover, but look how thick it is in here. Look, it's just like so thick in the bottom of the valve cover. I guess I should blow it off, huh? Yeah, but the farther forward you get, the rustier they are. It looks so much better already. Yeah. We're gonna hit this with some PB Blaster. Oh my Just gosh. soak everything. If there's any chance of getting these loose. It got moisture somehow, didn't it? Yeah. Let's turn this thing over and see if we got valves open and shutting because if the valves are still opening and shutting, that probably means that the valve seats themselves are rusted up. But if they're just stuck, we might could beat on them with a hammer. All right, we got a valve open there. <laughs> hey, that one's open. There's nothing going on up here. I see valves in the back. There's nothing. Well, they're trying. Well, I see. Wait, they're no, trying. Now I see what's happened. The push rod's bent. The valves are completely stuck, so it bent the push rods. I can see, if you look straight down, you can see the push rods are bent. These bags Yeah, those are, are moving. moving, yes. It's just the front two. Cylinder. But we got intake and exhaust moving. Yeah. Yeah. On the back ones? Yeah. So the front two cylinders, nothing's going on at all. See, now the, the third one is moving look, both okay. of them now. Watch this push rod as it comes up on the cam lobe. You'll see the push rod bend. Oh, yeah. You see it? Mm -hmm. So it's just bent all the push rods is what it's done. And that's why we had so much resistance trying to get it to turn over. Shoot. Let's see what happens when we do this. Oh, wow. It went down but didn't come back. <laughs> Look, don't come back. <laughs> the, the rockers are stuck on the shaft. So look, that valve's going down. It ain't coming back unless I do this. That's why I have no compression. They're hung open. Yeah, the rocker shafts are junk. Look at that. Oh Look, the valve never came back. The valve's completely stuck. This one, the valve's not stuck because it comes back up like this. The rocker's stuck. This one, the valve itself is not returning. Look, you push down on it. Yeah. So then you tap down this, and that don't return. <laughs> yeah, same thing there. That valve's completely stuck in the head. That one's not stuck. So as you go... That one was... Those were marking. These two valves are completely stuck in the head. All these rockers are stuck up here. Even though these are working back here, I'd probably say the valve seats are rusted up solid. It's probably not sealing off is why we don't have any compression on these two. These two are just completely garbage stuck. Man, that stinks, don't it? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Well, these little inline sixes are great little engines, but nothing can hold up to rust. So I think we're just gonna pull the cylinder head now and give you guys a, a look inside this engine and see what inside the cylinders actually looks like. So it's looking like this one's gonna have to have a full rebuild if it's ever gonna run. Let's tear into it and see what we got. Uh, I mean, are we ever gonna have a car from this junkyard to run? Looks like no. We still got a few. Oh, we got, right. we've, we've tried two. Two out of two didn't run. Mm -hmm. And we have the box top and the LTD wagon left. <laughs> I say the box top has a chance. Man, it'll be interesting to see if the box top will run. Like, cause we've had two yeah, for real. just terrible ones in a row here. Is it kind of legs? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's the correct thing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was doing something bad. <laughs> junkyard just has not treated us kindly yet, has it? No. This junkyard. We had good luck with the first junkyard with all the galaxies and falcons. See? All but one ran. It's like buried in like two or three inches of goo back here. The way this intake set up, it just holds it. I don't think this engine was maintained well before it got in the junkyard. 
Just judging by all the sludge in this thing. Another EGR tube to cut. There's a vacuum line. Just hard to rock now. I think I've got everything loose now. Spoiler alert, it's stuck to the block. Screwdriver. All right, we need a big pry bar or something. Stuck. On top of that. that eagle. <gasps> it's an eagle. The eagles over oh there. Oh, Have you seen it? See That's crazy. We have eagles here, huh? He's watching over us. Hey, he's trying to see who he can eat out of my flock. That's pretty cool. He's bending down yeah, that tree. There's no telling what he weighs. He's bending down that whole tree. Can the head be? Oh, she's stuck. Wow. Can you get the big red pry bar? That she's big like, and she's gonna eat my pot, my paper towels. What the heck? Is it never gonna come off? Is it this one or something? No. All the bolts are out, except for that one. All right. <laughs> I was oh, right. Uh, it has one, one left. I mean, oh my gosh. One under the carb. <laughs> I was right. <sighs> Rafi, she's getting your glove. <laughs> no, 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 we don't eat gloves. Well, hey. Dolly, he's got to be a good girl. <laughs> it's got to be a good girl. Can't be eating gloves. I think I saw it move. Yep. <laughs> it helps when you take all the bolts out. I was wondering why it was so stuck. Okay. That well, one bolt was holding on good, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, here goes my L4. I'm just going to get in here amongst it. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to get amongst yeah, it, don't you? This thing's so heavy, I don't want to lean over too far and slip the noodle. Surprisingly, look at, oh, look at our push rods. <laughs> look at that. Wow. That one right there is crazy bent. It's like a U-turn. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen a push rod bent that he's bad. Bent, he's bent here and here. Like the one next to it's bowed if you roll it. Look at that, they have a steel shim head gasket. That's cool. So crusty. Look, the bores aren't bad. That's uh, surprising. You're already cleaning the head? Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it does have a little bit of a ridge, but pretty much all carburetor cars do. But man, the bores look nice. Ah, uh, down at the bottom, we got pitting, just like we had with the Galaxy. See the pits in the bottom? So apparently it did get water in it at some point, probably, looks like. So it would have definitely had low compression. Similar setup there, the second cylinder. It's got rust at the bottom of the bore. Oh, wow, look at the back one. Ew. Look how bad it is. It's like the Galaxy, but just Yeah. Less. Look, the other side looks the same way. Even though this cylinder, the valves were open, it had really pitted cylinder walls. Look, this one too. Almost every cylinder. This engine's probably a total loss, it looks like. Because it would have to be like sleeved and probably a different head as well. So you might as well start with a good motor. Yeah. Especially as cheap as these things are. Uh, so you think that this engine was bad before it was parked, or this was no, because of it was parked so I long? I don't see anything that tells me it was bad before it was parked. All, everything I see just looks like water damage from over time. Okay. Which this car, if you watch the video of us getting it out of the junkyard, it was 40 acres. In this car, there was 4,000 cars on this 40 acres, and this was the very last car from the entrance. So it may have been the first car to get parked there. Like It may have been sitting longer than any of them. I don't know. Let's see what the combustion chambers look like here. So see the valves are just sitting there open. That's the valves that won't go back shut. Honestly, I'd say most of the rust is on the top side, like the valve cover side of the valve, inside of where the yeah. valve spring is. Cause 
That looks like it's a carbon buildup. It doesn't really look like rust Can as much. Go down? If you hit it with a hammer, it probably would. But see, as long as this, if this valve is cracked at all, see how that one's cracked? This one's cracked, that one's cracked, that one's cracked. That means no compression. Same thing here. This exhaust valve here is cracked. So that's why we had no compression is every one of these has a valve that's cracked open. Well, these are closed. Yep, that's the two that had compression. And look, think about it. It has probably 70 pounds at least of spring pressure on the other side trying to pick it up right now. It still won't close. That's a valve. All right, watch these. These will bounce right back. They bounce right back up. Yeah. They go down and back up. These four will. And then the closer we get to the front, they're going to stop bouncing back up as good. So, look, see that? Just goes down to it stays down. Same thing there. Same thing there. And there. See? They're all just seized up. So there's really no way to get past that. And yeah, the rust is on the top side. Because this is just carbon buildup. The seats don't look terrible. So all of our issues was right here. That's why this engine wouldn't run. Oh, wow. Hey, how you doing, girl? You weren't much help this time. She didn't even faint today. No. I want to show you guys something you've probably never seen before. Look. Oh, you're going to turn Watch it on. Watch the engine. What the heck? What and that, that is only oh, a couple gosh. hundred RPM. So that's like probably less than 500 RPM. I know you're going to do it. And that thing is spinning 10 times that fast if you're turning 5,000. Still but isn't that neat to see how fast That's it moves crazy. Yeah. and every time it goes intake compression exhaust. fires yeah. and then exhaust sucks air in compresses Push. it fires it pushes, pushes the burnt it exhaust out it's a four stroke engine so that's the four strokes isn't that pretty neat to see it yeah. i don't think i've ever seen that in person spinning one over with a starter with the head off i knew they were super quick yeah two things i noticed that are probably an issue. It never did pump any fuel at all out of the fuel pump, and it never pumped any transmission fluid out with the transmission lines unhooked. Probably more issues with this thing. One more time, you wanna try it, please? Look, between, cross it between that and that. You don't need to show her how to do this. That's pretty cool. I guess let's just say a prayer for it and bury it right here. Right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's uh, probably the last time she's ever going to turn. <laughs> well, guys, watch out. Man, this is not how I was hoping it would end up, but at least we got some finality with this one. We figured out what was wrong, you know, probably put a cylinder head on it and get it to run but you still got pitted up bores that are not gonna be good as far as building compression and stuff. Rocky Jr. is trying to kill me over here. Man, I, I can't give up on this car. A black station wagon that has, you know, home improvement lettering on the side. I'd really love to clean that thing up and redo the lettering on the side and put the lettering back on just like it was back in the day. I mean, dare I say engine swap it? Hmm? Yes, mm. yes, yes, all the God time, yes. Yes. Who didn't know he'd say that? I guess let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see us do. We're definitely going to engine swap it is what's going to happen here if we end up fixing it. We'll definitely engine swap it. Uh, you can't have RC code. You don't like it. Pour one out for your homies. I'm just getting attacked the whole time. I'm getting attacked over here. <laughs> yeah, pour one out for your homies. Eat your bourbon barbecue vanias. Drink your RC code. Oh my God. Can we ever get anything running out of this junkyard? Like we still have the LTD wagon and the box top two-door fair model which has the same engine in it we need to find out if uh we can get one of them running maybe we can finally get something run out of the junkyard you know look he's eating my shirt somebody's eating my shirt back here he's gonna he's poking you too <laughs> thank you as always for watching our channel we really appreciate it we have a second channel it's sleeper dude too we also have instagram facebook and tiktok it's Sleeping. Oh, yes. oh, God. Grand, grand, oh, grand. oh, my God. She is so Daddy, big. Oh God, they probably out. haven't seen her stand up oh. on the channel before. She's as big as me. She's taller than me. Oh, my gosh. I'm not even going to get one now. She's been licking them. I ain't eating after you. Right. Her tongue came out so long right there. But you guys saved the station wagons. I mean, no. they're not making any more of them, unfortunately. No. I wish, I mean, 
There's some European car companies that are making yeah. wagons, but I wish American cars would go back to making some station wagons for you us. You know what? Come on, Ford, Chevy, Dodge. You can check out our merchandise down below. What we got? Flip flops and May pops. We got the OG uh, sleeper dude church with a Fairmont wagon on it. They <laughs> messed us over in this video. Uh, we got the cheap RV shirts. We got Church of Rocky on it. Yeah, I love Wawa shirts. So check out Spring's website. It'll take you to our, our merchandise. There's more than just what's below. But thank you as always for watching. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do this. I've no, really enjoyed getting no. to spend time with the kids Maybe this no. year. Uh, I've got to spend way more time with the kids. They've really enjoyed it as well. Oh, haven't you? I have enjoyed yes. this, yes. <laughs> Actually, There'll be a video coming soon on the red big block twin turbo Fairmont. Uh, we got to get the Malibu ready for Cleus and Cars November. So we'll be at Cleus and Cars, Bradenton, Florida for uh, their November burnout competition is the plan. We're trying to get the Malibu ready for it. But we need to get back on the Mini Winnie, trying to get the engine rebuilt in it as well. We've just been tearing down engines lately like crazy. So I guess all winter we're going to be rebuilding engines. But we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. And let's get Vanya her RC Cola. She's dying for it over there. There you go, girl. There you go. Granny's trying to get it. That's for Vanya. Granny don't get none. Was that good? Don't buy Vanya. Bye! Who cut the cheese? I can't tell you who cut the cheese. It's you. You, this guy. I didn't even get any vines. There's all the springs and junk. Smell the gear oil too. Mm -hmm. It's got a bad seal on this one, probably too. This is our hoops and cases we got at Ford Fest. Oh, yeah. Roll now. Tell them bye. <laughs>